As long as there have been batteries, there has also been a need for test procedures that match real-life applications. Various tester manufacturers have tried to find ways to fill this need. Each tester is different in how it interprets these results. Some would say that the battery should be recharged and tested again, and some would tell you an estimated CCA. These inconsistencies in readings can cause problems when interpreting these results. The BCI states that results are often inaccurate and dependent on the design, usage, and failure modes of the batteries in question. Furthermore, the industry only recognizes actual capacity testing as a reliable indicator of performance. One tester manufacturer states, because the CCA rating is a minimum performance criterion, you will find batteries rated at lower numbers that read exceedingly high. While these testers accurately convey the conductance or resistance of the materials, they cannot accurately return a complete picture of battery capacity. There are several factors which can affect conductance and or resistance within a battery. Some factors are paste density, grid design, specific gravity, battery design and layout, separator back web thickness, and paste additives. This is by no means a comprehensive list, nor does it account for combinations. Each battery manufacturer assembles their batteries differently, and therefore no two brands will test the same. One factor which affects tester readings is the separator material. Even in the earliest form of lead acid battery, there has to be a way to separate the positive plate from the negative to avoid short circuits. Today we use various types of polymers and rubberized materials in a multitude of thickness and designs. Most separators consist of a back web and ribs which serve to create space between plates. A separator with a thicker back web will be slightly more resistant to ion flow between plates and thus give lower numbers on a tester. Conversely, this thicker back web gives a greater ability to withstand punctures or dendrite growth which can short circuit the cell and ultimately kill the battery. So while a tester will view thicker back webs as bad, they actually help give longer life. This is just one of the many substances that affect a battery's perceived capacity on an electrical tester. As you can see from this data, manufacturer A's battery reads significantly higher on an electronic tester but does not achieve its rating on a lab-conducted CCA test. While the battery may appear better than all the others on a tester, it clearly does not possess enough capacity to do the job. Battery manufacturer C passes every test but does not appear superior on the conductance tester. Some sales personnel have tried to compare one brand of battery to another by showing higher readings on an electrical tester. This is very misleading and is not an accurate comparison because of the differences in manufacturing processes discussed earlier. If you have more questions, please contact your battery manufacturer for more information. To access more videos like this, visit www.superlex.com.